most people in the East won't forget the winter of 1960-61. It's been a real old-fashioned winter, and before it's over, it may put all the old winters to shame. This youngster may tell his grandchildren one day, you should have seen the snow in 61. In New York City, there's also been a record cold wave, bringing with it the twin hazard of fire. A blaze in a Bronx furniture factory burns day and night and starts up again the following day. Firemen responding to the five alarm call find their job complicated by the ice that forms everywhere. For nearly 17 days, the temperature remains below freezing, the longest period ever in New York Weather Bureau annals. Fortunately, the fire doesn't spread, and there are no casualties. Then the heaviest snowfall of the season, and the heaviest in 13 years. New York receives a fresh blanket of 17.4 inches, which is slightly better than the 17-inch fall during December. The city needs only 8 more inches to break the all-time winter record of 63 inches set in 1947-48. The world's greatest city briefly becomes the whitest. Broadway, the Great White Way truly lives up to its name. But you can't keep them away from Times Square. Even though people have a little more trouble getting there, the entertainment center continues to function. To make sure the streets aren't blocked, Mayor Robert Wagner orders all private cars to stay home. His order is a great help in allowing snow plows, emergency vehicles, and buses to get through. A slight rise in the temperature also helps. As a result, the city recovers unusually fast from the worst of the storm. All in all, it's one of the heaviest snows on record, but prompt action saves it from having the heaviest impact.